Hi everyone! Happy New Year! I hope 2021 treats you all well. So USA Archery has released their new 2021 national competition schedule and today I wanted to go over this competition schedule with you guys as well as introduce like each competition area, the weather, and any tips I might have about these competitions. Um, just a side note, all these competitions do have COVID-19 measures in place such as social distancing like staying six feet apart from each other and wearing masks when not actively shooting. So let's get started. So this is what the USA Archery website page first looks like when you check the schedule. And if we scroll to the bottom, we can see the specific schedule. Let's first start with the USA Archery Internationals, as you can see here. So the 52nd USA Archery Internationals are going to be a little bit different this year because of COVID-19. It's going to be in various locations based on your state and depending on which state will provide tournaments. One requirement this year is that a archer has to be registered for a state event to register for the indoor nationals and Joe nationals in for indoor. So you should check which state you're in and if that state is offering state competitions right now. Here is a list of locations offered. As you can see, my state, California, there's two locations right now in Chula Vista or Sacramento. And I can go to either one depending on my preference. And here are just some examples of what an indoor archery competition might look like and the venue for that location. Next up, I'll be introducing the USAC Qualifier Series events, which is basically the main national archery competitions that USA Archery hosts each year. The first USAC competition is the 2021 Arizona Cup in Phoenix, Arizona from April 9 to 11 this year. I personally have been to this competition several times this is their page. There's not that much information on it, but if you want to check it out, the link is on the USA Archery website. And every time I've been to this competition, it has always been really, really dry and most of the time windy. It's located in the middle of the desert, so there's no trees, just a couple of like cacti and shrubs, so there's nothing blocking the wind. Uh, sometimes we've even had a couple of dust tornadoes and it gets pretty sunny even though it is April and it's also pretty hot sometimes so make sure you apply a lot of sunscreen if you do plan on coming and keep yourself hydrated. At this specific venue they do have water bottle refills and it's usually really cold so take advantage of that if you plan on coming here. The next competition is the Easton Foundation Gator Cup. It is in Newberry, Florida, and it is from May 7th to 9th, 2021. So since this competition is in Florida, it gets pretty hot and humid. This is their page if you want to go check it out. It's also on the USA Archery competition link. But yeah, there's not that much wind in this specific venue, but an interesting thing about this field is that there are trees around the shooting area, as you can see in this photo. So the wind kind of circulates throughout the field instead of just blowing in one straight line. And remember, remember to bring your bug spray if you come here. There is a lot of bugs at this venue, and if you can bring an umbrella, try to bring that and wear lots of sunscreen. It does rain quite a lot in Florida at this time, so don't be surprised if there's like a break or something in shooting and there's thunderstorms. Another competition is the SoCal Showdown 
in Chula Vista, California from June 4th to 6th in 2021. Here is their website. I think this website hasn't been updated yet, but the date I just told you is correct. Um, this shooting field in Chula Vista is actually one of my favorite fields. The grass is very well kept and the targets are very nice Reinhardt targets. It is maintained by the Eastern Archery Center of Excellence. And during the show cow showdown, there's also a youth championship trial going on there as well. The weather at this venue gets kind of chilly in the mornings. So make sure you do bring a jacket. And if it does warm up later, you can take it off. But since it does get pretty chilly and the wind is strong sometimes, just remember to bring something to cover up with. The final USAC qualifier series is the 2021 Buckeye Classic in Dublin, Ohio. It's from July 30th to August 1st. And I remember this range not having the best weather. It was generally cloudy and later on it even started to rain and thunderstorm. So we had to stop the competition to take a break and like wait for the lightning to stop so we could safely continue shooting. The field, however, was pretty nice here and it was very well kept. And I remember the wind being pretty strong in this area as well. Besides the USAC qualifier series, there is the Target Nationals and US Open only for adults, the Senior and Master Division, and it's going to be held in August 18th to 21st in Richmond, Virginia. As you can see, it's surrounded by woods and I heard from the adults who participated last year that it rained a lot and we're talking ankle deep rain. So make sure you take your raincoat or your rain boots with you if you plan on going to this specific competition. For the younger archers, there is the Joad Target Nationals and the 2021 World Archery Youth Championships from July 7 to 11. They've decided this year that it's going to be held in Decatur, Alabama. I hear that it's also surrounded by woods and that the weather is not the best here either. There has mostly been cases where the competitions have been rained out or they had to stop the competition due to lightning, but we'll have to see how it goes this year. So that covers all, if not most, of the national archery events this year. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.